boy. Just when I thought people would get upset about other things. Uh, whew, we have a hefty, well, hefty thing to talk about, because apparently people are getting Shades of Ira here, and I'm just going to give you my simple opinion here, guys, okay? Because a lot of people have been going, aren't you mad about the newest banner reveal, and... Okay. Let's take a second and let's talk about that, shall we? So I'm going to collect my orbs and my uh, stamina potion, and then we're going to go look over what exactly happened, because people are freaking the hell out. Um, a lot of people have been asking me on Discord, a lot of people have been mad <laughs> at it in Twitter and all sorts of other places. So, here is what we have. So, chances are you've probably seen my Children of Fate preview video where we looked over the banner. And of course, we already knew, not only, you know, people are going to be like, oh, you guys got preconceptions due to data miners. Nope, this time it was actually preconceptions because they're already in the game. You know, Shiro, Soleil... Siegbert, uh, I almost said something else, and then of course, Rajat. Um, Rajat, of course, is the one character that everyone is freaking out about because, well, hopefully I still have it up here. As you can see, she's not actually going to be a part of the banner for the children. Um, she's actually going to be a first in a long time to be a character, <laughs> I mean a first ever, actually, um, technically to be a part of event, an event that is not really something we're really all that aware of. Apparently, she's going to be a part of the uh, summoning focus enduring love for the voting gauntlet as block A's portion. So that means that she's actually going to be a part of the voting gauntlet. I'm not too sure about why that is or if that's a great idea, but um, a lot of you were worried about that. A lot of you were like, well, hey, exactly what is this? What's going on? Um, so yes, this is the first time uh, we had it for the voting gauntlet. We've had it before with Tempest Trials and with Ira, but a lot of people are miffed about it. Apparently the sacred the sacred bond that we have with, uh, you know, IS is that you only bring out new units in lieu of, you know, new units. You keep them in one banner and things like that. Um, you know, it's not even data miners this time. This is actually story mode stuff. They were in the story. Um, so, do I feel like this is a bad idea? A good idea? What? So, I'm just going to tell you, simply put, what I think. So, first up, just real quick, guys. I don't see this as an IRA situation. Because I don't... <laughs> uh, the problem with the IRA situation is that we were not informed beforehand. We were not told explicitly what was going to happen. We were given a banner that just popped up and it was like, oh hey, here's a bunch of characters from that banner. Here they are. And, you know, Ira was glimpsed a little bit in the trailer for it. You got to see her on the side and you were like, oh, Ira's there. What can this be? Is she going to be a grand hero battle? Is she going to be all sorts of other things? And everyone was guessing and trying to find out. Um... And then eventually we found out that she was actually a Tempest Trial character, which was weird. And everyone just kind of went, what? <laughs> and it created a huge firestorm about this, you know, oh my god, they're gonna make her a crazy, you know, she, this is bullcrap, she's in a banner. Not only was she in a banner with a, a character that was sharing her spot for a focus, in that case it was Red, um, with Eldigan. Good lord, I don't even want to think about Eldigan. Uh, yeah, it was a mess. A very, very big mess. And a lot of people were mad, a lot of people were upset, but here is the difference in this situation. And that's just something that I feel that is a good thing that they've done, at least, to step up this point. Is that when, when they showed off the characters, you know, all these characters here, uh, it ended, the trailer for them ended, but they were nice enough to at least that brought me here. include the fact that, well, she's going to be in the game, and she's going to be in a separate banner. That's the first step that I find that is a good thing. It's not so much money-grubbing as, oh, hey, you know, now she's going to be in a separate one. Does that mean that I don't think, should she have been in the, you know, children's banner? Probably. Should she have been in a separate one? I guess. But I guess, you know, they want to try and get some hype going for other events in the game right now. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't have enjoyed, you know, would have enjoyed it if we had known that she was, you know, Ira was coming in the Tempest Trial banner beforehand. We probably would have been a lot more excited about that. Um, 
when it came to god dang this <laughs> this uh, tablet but simply put the what really matters here is that they are at least telling us um, transparency is what matters more than anything when it comes to a banner and I know a lot of you are upset that she's in a separate banner from the other kids but I am going to point out a few things that come with that okay so first up uh, that that means that the units that are actually available will have a little bit less uh, you'll be able to snipe other units at least and not have to worry too much about this not only that but she's a she's going to actually be showing up before the children on the first which is today, technically. It's going to be up at 11, um, the second for others, of course, but still. Um, also to note here is that she's actually a part of a banner that does not share her color type. There's red, there's colorless, and then there's her. She's going to be a green tome unit. Uh, so therefore, another advantage there that at least is good. Not only that, but I do have to point out the simple fact here. Her stats aren't exactly the most amazing. She's not going to be like Ira, where... Suddenly I was here, and suddenly the whole meta changes in some shape and form around her. <laughs> that was the other big problem that came with Ira was, Hey, look! Here's Ira now! She has so much beefy stats, we didn't tell you she was coming, we left you on a little bit of a note, and suddenly she's a part of a banner that they haven't done before. Rajat does not have that. She, she has these stats, she has a Keen Grand Wolf, which is a unique ability, you know, unique tome in the sense that it hasn't been in the summoning pool yet. I think, I think it's been exclusive to uh, female Robin, who, uh, you know, Grand Hero Battle. Yeah. But it's not like she's going to be breaking the game. I'm hoping that if they do continue on with this tradition, that as this comes along and goes more, more and more, be it, you know, you they add banners, you know, add new characters to banners to maybe hype it up a little bit. They do a few things. One, do it like Raja. Tell us beforehand. Explain to us, yeah, these three units are coming, and this one is going to be sectioned off to be in a different banner. That's what matters. Two, make sure the character maybe isn't, you know, for something like the voting gauntlet, I don't think it really matters too much. Maybe don't make them broken as all hell. Um, and third, make it so that at least if you're summoning for them you have a better chance because they are the one premium unit that is new and everyone is going to want to get her so therefore make her the only color in that banner that is specific to that color you know <laughs> make her the only character there that is available I don't want any more elegant Ira nonsense that was ridiculous um, I say that because well Ira gave uh, <laughs> gave us and made us really upset with a lot of things. It was one thing that everyone got really, really mad about. And for the first time, um, you know, I could get mad about this, I could get angry, but I'm just going to say this real quick. Don't get mad about this because at least we got a warning. Do I think it's pretty stupid that they separated the kids into, you know, separate banners? One for a voting gauntlet where I'm pretty sure Roger's not going to win in the least. I, I, I really doubt she will, but hey, who knows? Um, yeah, I think it's a little dumb. I think it's a little bit stupid, but uh, hey, I mean, I, I really can't control that. And at least this time, we were forewarned, and we were at least told... I, I see a lot of people cursing and going, Ah, oh, IS is just trying to money grub. I'm pretty sure now that you know that Rajat's going to be in the Nether Banner, if you were aiming for her, you're, you're probably not going to be aiming for that other banner just for her, you know. You're going to be aiming for the banner she's in. You're going to be spending money where you want. And that was the biggest problem with the Ira situation, was that we did not know where our money was going. We didn't even know if she was going to be a money situation. She just kind of sprung up out of nowhere. Transparency is key here, guys. And don't don't take anything too harsh, okay? Um, don't get too upset about stuff. And um, this time, they had the decency to tell us. Um, and thank God they did. I'm hoping that this will be something that they will continue to do as they release these new banners focused around new units that are being added to the pool afterwards. Because... We really do need that. We don't need another Ira situation with a broken ass unit showing up out of nowhere just to screw with us and making us more elder, you know, just more money, throw money at it, you know. I know that's a good strategy for some people, 
um, for some gadget games, but they do need to focus on the transparency, and they're doing a better job at that now, at least. They are at least telling us, not only have they given us a roadmap, but they're at least telling us a lot of other things. And the weapon refinery system and all of 2.0 have been really amazing, so therefore, give them, give them a little bit of slack here, guys. Don't worry too much, okay? That's just my rant on the situation. Alrighty, guys. See you soon. Thanks for watching.